And moving to Latin America, where Mexico and Ecuador are engaged in a massive diplomatic war. The two countries locked horns after Ecuador's security forces stormed the Mexican embassy in the capital city of Quito on Friday to arrest former Ecuadorian Vice President Jorge Glass. The special forces equipped with a battering ram surrounded the Mexican embassy in Quito and at least one agent scaled the walls. Now a raid on the diplomatic premises is unheard of and as, as they are considered inviolable ter sovereign territory. On Saturday, the embassy remained surrounded by police and the Mexican flag had been taken down. To be clear, under international law, invading an embassy is tantamount to invading another country. The Vienna Convention states that a country cannot intrude upon an embassy or its territory. Now, Mexico has severed ties with Ecuador after the incident and also pulled out all diplomatic personnel from Ecuador. Mexico is also taking Ecuador to the International Court of Justice. It was something unheard of. Something like this had not happened in the history of Mexico or in the recent history of Latin America. Not even in the worst times of dictatorships, not even dictator Pinochet dared to violate Mexico's embassy in Chile. This is unheard of. I think Ecuadorian President Novoa made a mistake by taking a decision that did not just break with all established international conventions, but it also showed ignorance of the reality of his country. Now, Mexican President André Manuel López Obrador said that the raid was a flagrant violation of international law and the sovereignty of Mexico. The raid comes hours after Mexico granted political asylum to former Ecuadorian Vice President Jorge Glass, who had been sheltering at the Mexican embassy in Quito since December. Ecuador had issued an arrest warrant against him for alleged corruption. Quito said that the granting of political asylum to Glass was an illicit act. Now, President Daniel Noboa's government accused Mexico of meddling in Quito's internal affairs. It said the raid was justified because there was a real risk that Glass would escape justice. By receiving Mr. Glass, the Mexican embassy prevented him from reporting to the judicial authorities on a weekly basis. In doing so, they interfered with Ecuador's democratic institutions in clear violation of the fundamental principle of non-interference in the internal affairs of other countries. On February 29, 2024, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs asked the Mexican Embassy on the basis of Article 22 of the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations for authorization from the Mexican Ambassador so that the police could comply with the arrest warrant issued by the National Court. It was refused. Now, Mexico is no stranger to sheltering wanted fugitives. In fact, in the last century, Mexico has opened its doors to revolutionaries, Spanish exiles, and persecuted Latin American leaders. Russian revolutionary Leon Trotsky, who was expelled from the Soviet Union by Joseph Stalin, sought refuge in Mexico. Fidel Castro used Mexico as a base to plan his revolution in Cuba. Ernesto Che Guevara also took refuge in Mexico. But this Mexican tradition was dealt an unprecedented blow by a raid on its embassy in Ecuador. And Ecuador has drawn searing rebukes from Latin American nations like Argentina, Bolivia, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Peru, and Venezuela. Nicaragua has gone even further, cutting all ties with Ecuador. And the United Nations has also criticized the raid in Quito. The United States has urged Mexico and Ecuador to resolve their differences in accordance with international norms. And the European Union has also condemned the violation of the Mexican embassy. But experts say Ecuador's President Noboa has strengthened himself on the domestic political stage with this raid. President Noboa has portrayed the action as a part of his fight against runaway graft. His government has shown former Vice President Glass as a symbol of corruption in Ecuador. Later this month, Noboa's government is also holding a referendum on whether to take tougher measures against crime. Now, the tension started last Wednesday when the Mexican president drew a comparison between the 2023 election violence in Ecuador, in which a candidate was murdered, and crime in Mexico ahead of its June election. 
The Mexican leader alleged that violence and manipulation caused the rise of President Noboa in Ecuador. And Ecuador had slammed Mexico's remarks, calling them offensive. Rising tensions between Ecuador and Mexico could lead to the risk of instability in the entire region.